Hey everybody, this is Matt Bolson with Solutions 2 Live Voltage. What you see here is two 4 inch fire stop sleeves. Uh, we got one at full capacity and we got one, we got plenty more room for more cables to come. And actually, it's not completely full capacity. Um, you don't want to go 100% full capacity, that's against code. So we're in that 67% range right there on the left. And this guy here, like I said, got room for a lot more cables. I'm about to go up here with the super lift. And one of the main things I wanted to show you is. Uh, the collars for the four inch couplers and unit strut assembly that I've got going on here. And of course, these are Velcro all the way up. So, here we go. Sorry for the beeping, but that is the scissor lift noise. As you know, that's a safety thing. And, uh, here we go. So, we're going up here. We're going to be going up 30 feet. I got these collars about every four, four and a half feet. As you can notice, I got the Velcro. Got these cables nicely bundled. And I'm also going to show you up here at the top once we get there, guy by the 10 or 15 feet, um, our J hooks. We're using the CAT 64s, which is a, uh, implies that it holds 64 CAT 6 cables. Uh, they'll have to hold one now. It's a really big table. And uh, guys, when you put your J hooks in, you got to do it right. Um, you know, extra piece to get your cables from flopping out. And then we'll show you that. You're going to see my full string here in a second. And uh, Josh is going to see some cardboard. The reason the cardboard is there is to make our pulls across this iron a lot easier. And there's my pull string. And I'm actually starting to dress it back. So what dressing means is get your cables bundled. And that's where we just came up. Coming up here. And there's our pull string. There's our cardboard. And there's our J-hooks. I got two J-hooks. I had to use ceiling grid wire here to hang these J-hooks. Um, beam clamps. Just really no way really was a good place to put the beam clamps and if you notice these screws coming down from the deck um, if they ever have to have a roofing job you don't want your cables too close to that deck which is the lower side of the roof and uh, I'm gonna pan across here I got two J hooks per piece of straight iron here and that goes all the way down the yellow cable still needs to be put up in the J hooks again this is my pull string and I want to get that clear of my cable. So in the future, we need to pull more cables. We just drag them across. The cardboard will come down once we uh, hand this job over to the customer. But until he's done telling me how many cables he really wants, I'm going to leave it there to make my pull easier and, of course, protect those cables. Again, panning back over here. We're starting to dress it. We've got to do some Velcroing all the way down. I was going to show you the Velcro, guys. When you, when you buy your Velcro, this is half of the roll. There's two more big rolls. You just put them right in Velcro, and uh, you just simply cut it to fit. It's the best stuff on earth. That allows you to uh, un-Velcro it, add more cables, put the Velcro back on. Uh, sometimes people use tie wraps. Well, after a while, man, you'll have a thousand tie wraps, and uh, you won't be able to add or take away because the tie wrap, you'll have to cut it. So use your Velcro. And guys, whatever you do, when you're up here on this lift, this high up, as you can see, I'm tethered off. I got my safety harness on. If you can see it. Good morning, guys. How y'all doing? And uh, guys, always be safe. Take care of yourself. Make sure you go home to your family. Don't break any limbs. You guys have a blessed weekend and stay safe out there. Thank you for watching.